Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Shall We Play? Let's do it. Shall We Play is a horror thriller from director Anne Forey and IndyCan Entertainment. The film stars Matreya Scarwinner, Michelle Kreber, Jessica McLeod, Blake Williams, Dolores Drake, Philip Granger, and Gwenda Lorenzetti. A troubled teenage girl downloads a new app, Shall We Play, in an attempt to heal her past, but unknowingly, the app possesses her into the game. So welcome back to my ongoing coverage of the Blood in the Snow Film Festival, which is a bunch of horror stuff, genre stuff, underground cinema, it's based here in Toronto. I've got a few reviews up on my channel right now, so feel free to go check those out. And I've got a couple more coming in the upcoming days. But today we're talking about Shall We Play. And I gotta say, Shall We Play is kind of the kitchen sink of horror movies. Despite a really short runtime of only, I think, 85 minutes, this movie is a convoluted mix of horror subgenres, plot lines, and allusions to other movies. It's a bullying, possession, horror psychological thriller that owes its DNA to The Exorcist, The Ring, oddly Jumanji, with a little bit of Black Mirror thrown in there as well. I will say for the first half of this movie, I was somewhat engaged with it. There were some decent creeps and I was curious as to where the story was gonna go. Once it started getting more intense though, towards the end, I found myself kind of checking out and I found the movie getting a little bit silly. Now aside from an absolutely captivating performance by Scarwinner as our main character, who is really wonderful in the film. And a strong outing for Stacy's best friend, Emma, played by Michelle Kreber. I hate to say it, I found a lot of the acting like almost comical. Though I will chalk a lot of that up to a pretty problematic screenplay. Just to give you an example, there's a moment in the movie where one character is like inconsolable because she's been given some really, really horrible news. And another character comes up to her to broach the situation with, what's up? It wasn't played that comically, I'm exaggerating for effect, but still, What's up when someone's like hysterically crying? No, that scene should have been painfully sad and it made me laugh out loud. The editing was also a major issue for me. It's like hyper frenetic. It comes across as though it was edited in the sort of iMovie horror movie trailer template. I'm all for frenetic editing to make a scene more intense, but it really didn't work here, and I think it's because they really, really overdid it. Further, the movie has a number of logic problems. For example, our main character Stacy's constantly wondering why her friend Jess isn't at her side. Despite the fact that throughout the entire movie, Jess proves that she's a horrible, mean-spirited person, a bully, and an awful friend. Shall We Play does have a couple of creepy moments and a couple of really strong performances, but overall to me it felt like a hodgepodge of other better films and it never really finds its own identity. I wouldn't say don't watch the movie, but I'm not advocating that you run out and check it out immediately either. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Shall We Play. And I think I'm gonna give Shall We Play a... Captain, that isn't very nice. Um, out of 10. So now, I wanna know, are you looking forward to Shall We Play? What's your favorite horror movie that involves like a Ouija board or something along those lines? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Check back for more Blood in the Snow coverage soon. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.